Here's a quick look at the RC motor dyno. Um, it's just a frame here. This is the motor under test. And uh, this one is being used as a generator, a variable mechanical load in effect. At the moment it's not doing any electrical work, but that's, uh, that's to be done later. <coughs> um, motor under test has a torque arm attached to the stator there, um, acting on a load cell here. The thing you can hear whirring away in the background is this, uh, this big 3 kilowatt 50 volt power supply which, which runs it all. Um, over here we've got the, uh, the black box uh, which has a microprocessor board in it which collects all the data from the dyno sensors. So we've got a, um, a turning a watt meter here with all the display data being decoded. Um, we've got the, the signal from the, the load cell going in there. We've got the RPM data which is actually captured from the generator in this case. Um, and the microprocessor collates all the information and sends it out on a serial link to the PC. Just over here where we've, uh, where we've got a display program which uh, <coughs> one side shows the electrical input power on the other side shows you the mechanical output power and it calculates uh, some averaging information at the bottom there and lets us log it. So we can draw some pretty graphs later on. Uh, let's have a, a look at it in action. This is um, a throttle pot here. I just got taped to the desk. Um, if I turn that slightly, we should see it start to start to fire into life. Here we go. All right, so that that's about three and a half thousand RPM. You can see it's fairly steady. I'm like, and in the line of case it'll fly to pieces, but <laughs> over here we've uh, we can see some of the, um, the data beginning to be collected on the dyno screen there. 